All right, guys, today uh, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the bearings on our front hubs on our Yamaha Banshee. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to disassemble these, take the disc off, um, and then we'll pop our bearings out. We'll put it in the uh, device. We'll pop our seals and bearings out. You don't actually have to take the disc off, but I'm going to be painting my hubs, so I'm going to take them apart. Alright guys, so just like before, like when we did our axle bearings, there's a sleeve in here that moves. You can see it left and right. So you want to push it to one side, and then we're going to go in here with our punch and hit on that inner race. And we'll tap it left and right until it comes out nice and even. Um, and we're going to do this front side first, because this bearing's smaller. So we have more room to work with back here. If we did it the other way, we'd have to find a really thin tool to push the back out. Once that front bearing's out, we'll be able to fit a bigger tool through the front. So here's our spacer. You can see it's tapered for the smaller bearing in the front and the bigger bearing for the back. Here's our old bearing. Junk. And don't forget, don't toss this seal just yet because there's a spacer that usually gets stuck in here. So we'll save the spacer. The seal is junk though, we'll put new seals in. Alright guys, so we have our hubs all cleaned out, bearings are out, this one was in really nice shape, I'm still working on the other one uh, because that bearing seized, but in the meantime I'm going to start cleaning this up. After I cleaned this one hub up, I noticed it's a little jimmied up right here, and that's okay, but there's some areas that stick up a little bit, so I'm just going to take a file and clean them up so I have a nice flat surface. Right, guys, 
guys, my hubs are done. They came out really nice. So let's put our new bearings in. Just pulled these bad boys out of the freezer. And what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna press them in the vise. If you don't have a vise, you can smash them in with a hammer. But this is a much easier and better way, in my opinion. Um, so the front here, we're gonna use this socket, which I believe is a one inch, yes. It's a one inch socket. That'll, that fits in there nicely. We'll be able to press on that in a race. And on the back side, I have a 32 millimeter. This fits in there perfectly. And what I'm gonna do is on that inner race in there, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the front one in first, and then I'm just gonna leave this socket in the back when I put it in the vise, so that that way we don't have to press up against the, the outside of this hub. I don't wanna damage anything or mess up the paint. So let's get them in there, and don't forget to put your center spacer in. If you forget to put the center space, spacers in, you gotta take them out and do it all over again. So we'll put the front bearing in, then we'll put our spacer in, then we'll put the back, back, back bearing in. Don't wanna make it too tight. You wanna make sure that this can still spin. Otherwise, the uh, bearing's not gonna work the way it should. So these uh, the bearings are in, got them on both sides. Um, you want to check, make sure that they do spin freely. I had them a little too snug at first, so I backed the one bearing out, and now they're good. It's okay if they are a little snug, because um, they will break in a little bit. Um, so we'll pop, we'll grease our seals up, pop the seals in real quick, um, and then we'll do the other side. All we have to do then is put our disc brake on, and these will be ready to rock and roll. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, Stay tuned, I got a couple more videos working. Um, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Don't forget to like. And uh, thanks again for watching. Quick guys, um, don't forget to put your spacer in here and just put a thin coat of oil 
on the inside of um, your seal because there's going to be friction in there so pop this don't forget to put that in there um, usually it pushes in pretty easy and then sometimes you just have to pull it out a little bit um, to make sure that your edge is sealed in here there we go So there it is and um before you put your hub on grease the inside of this one too because the uh the um the spacer is actually a part of the spindle <laughs>